What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back again. Um, now, like I said, we're going to be unboxing the Ken 1. Um, this here is just one of the models that Microsoft has uh, came out with. Now, this is a Sharp manufacturer, um, and this is strictly uh, for Verizon Wireless service. As you see here, it's a you know just a round cylinder uh, shaped box here. Um, Ken on top, Ken on the side. One, obviously. All right, now this thing is like a time capsule. Um, it's the craziest looking box I've ever seen uh, for a phone, um, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here. Um, now, here's the phone. This is the little guy here. Uh, looks pretty decent. We'll put him off to the side for right now. Um, it looks like it comes with a little booklet. I love the way we talk. Uh, nice little saying there. Um, a couple little cards. This is, see, now phones nowadays come with more so just tips and tricks guides. Obviously, you don't see a full manual within here, um, but at least you get some sort of a, some sort of help with everything. Um, but uh, you know, it's more so just tips and tricks. Um, we'll go ahead and lay that off to the side for now. It looks like we also get just your standard uh, your AC DC port that has the USB plug on the back of it. Um, I guess it's for manufacturers more so to save money, um, but that allows for the data cable to also be used as the wall charger. Um, it looks like it is the micro USB wall charger. Um, there we go. We'll set that off to the side. And it also comes with a headset. Nice, nice. Um, I don't think anything else is in this box, so let's get to the phone. Uh, let's see here. we got to power it on here. Now, this thing is quite small. Um, I'm going to pull out a... A droid, just so everybody can see the difference in size. I mean, that screen is pretty small, um, but you know, it's not bad. I mean, it is definitely used. Uh, it's a one-handed type of deal. It is definitely meant to be used with one hand. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this thing has. Um, you see the Verizon Wireless sign pop up there. All right, it's taking its sweet time here. Well, as that, um, this thing does have a 5.0 megapixel camera. It does have, I believe, 4 gigs of internal memory. Um, you know, your standard camera button here, your uh, audio jack there. Uh, it is booting up. It shows a bunch of people that I don't know who any of them are, but uh, <laughs> they are on this phone. Uh, the keyboard is quite cool. Um, it is set, it's set up, you know, just like your standard QWERTY keyboard. A um, little bit more of a cartoon heuristic type of deal. Um, but, I mean, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely comfortable for a one-handed type of deal. Um, the touchscreen itself is a compactive touchscreen. Um, you know, it is, it moves pretty slight, pretty nice. Um, not as smooth as uh, the Android-based devices, but it moves pretty nice. Um, on the right side here, you'll see that this is where you keep all your favorites, your contacts. Um, we don't have any contacts in here now. We just opened it up. Um, let's go ahead and just throw one in here real quick. Uh, looks like it has some text goals for it and things like that. Click new up at the top there. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add myself in there. Alright. Let's go ahead and add a phone number. Save on that. Now, let's see here. We'll go to more. Save it as a favorite. And now we'll go back to the main screen. It does have one button on here. Everything else is pretty flush with the screen itself. Um, so it does have one soft key on the front there. Um, but I believe once you save it as a favorite, look at that. Now I am now on the main screen. And uh, down there, that little dot you see in the middle, that's called your Ken Spot. And you can actually, let's say if I uh, Ken Spot tour in Chicago today, um, you know, I can click and hold that. Let's say I wanted to send that to myself. I can drop that in the Ken Spot, scroll over to my favorites, grab my picture, scroll over down there, tap on the Ken Spot, it'll pop up, and then I can immediately send that to myself. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, you can uh, add anything from pictures, from status updates that you see from people. Um, anything right into that Ken spot, which is really nice. Um, like, for example, another example, um, have you been to the studio? I can click that, and I can drop it in there, and then that I can also send to myself. There's quite a few different things in here. 
Um, let's go ahead and close out that Ken spot there. Now on the left side, you'll see that uh, it does have a you know your standard phone messaging applications, um, email, browser. I know you can set up quite a few different emails on here. Um, this is where your camera is going to be. Uh, you know your standard alarm settings, everything else. Um, Touchscreen is really nice. Um, it is smooth. Um, it's not a pressure sensitive touchscreen, which is very nice. Um, now, one bad thing is about this phone is it doesn't actually come with a calendar. Um, it doesn't come with a stock calendar, um, but a great thing is is you can actually log on to Ken.com and manage your phone directly from Ken.com. Um, so, I mean, that's definitely an advantage. You, uh, your pictures are automatically saved on the Internet. Everything you really do, your text messages, um, call log, everything is saved directly onto the, the Internet. So uh, you can access it from anywhere in the world. Um, and if you lose your phone, everything's automatically backed up. There is no manual backup you have to do. Um, it's just automatically backed up via the, uh, you know, the, the web at Ken.com, which is really nice. Um, although, I, I mean, there's another version of this. Um, it is a larger version, but I, uh, you know, we only got the, the Ken 1 in here. Um, so I figured we would unbox it and take a look at it. Um, yeah, so that is the Ken 1. Looks nice. It's very, uh, very sleek, very small. Um, but that's it.